Sony has a portfolio of products that include game consoles, smartphones and tablets, TVs, as well as entertainment divisions focused on movies and music. So I decided to buy a pair of these headphones. So let's open them up and try them out. So this is Sony's MDR-ZX110 black stereo headphones. It's my understanding they have these in different colors. And this is an inexpensive uh, set here. And uh, packaging doesn't look too complicated, so let's go ahead and open this up. I had my wife cut the tape earlier, so I'm going to pull these tabs out. Looks like this little tab here as well. Looks like this comes open, so let me put it like this. Let's see if I can move this up this way. Okay, we'll just let it come open this way. Here is the warranty and operating instructions. Here's the cable itself. Here's some branding. Pop that open. Okay, out of the way. Take a look at this. Looks like they fold, which is pretty obvious from how they had been set apart, so that's pretty cool. You can pull them out, pull them out, that makes them more compact. Looks like it expands out a good way, so nice stretch. Looks like this little bit of soft foam padding here. The drivers are protected by a material here I can't recognize. And here's the Sony branding on each side. Pretty light, that's one of the reasons I purchased this. And here's the cabling itself. Let's go ahead and undo it, move that out of the way, and let's see how long the cable is. So here's the cable. I'd say it's about three feet of cable, and they indicate left and right here. Red is right, left, and uh, this is how it looks. Let's take a look at the end of the cable here, and it's your standard headphone jack. And let's go ahead and see how this sounds like. Okay, here are the headphones in, in the fully extended position with, you can kind of see how big this is compared to my head. <laughs> Even if I had a big old fro, this would uh, still fit. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it to something that will work for, for me, and let's do red for right here we go in fact okay it's on this side put it here it's pretty good and i'm going to go ahead and use my nexus 9 since i use this for my uh, music listening needs because of the dual front facing stereo speakers which every tablet should have at this point so i'm going to go ahead and plug this into the jack here and i'm going to see what uh, music sounds like and i'm going to use like uh, google play music as my source of jams and I'll go ahead and hit play wow okay I'm gonna to move to a different track <clears throat> Some uh, Skrillex, Datsik. Okay, this is pretty decent. The bass is pretty responsive. Mids are fairly loud. I don't think this would go nearly as deep, obviously, as something like Beats, but it's got some good mid range. Eptic. got some decent bass and mid-range. I haven't found anything yet that really tests highs very well. Some mode step, take it all. That's a good one. So, all right, I got to stop this. So I uh, <clears throat> spent about, I don't know, 16 bucks on this. I think at like Walmart or Best Buy. I think it was at Best Buy. That's what it was. And uh, I think I got my money's worth. Uh, I'm mostly going to be using these for podcasts. 
as well as you know listening to music you know so I won't like if I'm in bed with my wife or listen to music or whatever I won't we won't disturb each other or whatever so uh, this is pretty decent I think this is a good investment on my part and it um, replaces a previous set of headphones that I wore that gave out over time so that's about it I just want to give you an idea of how these uh, Sony headphones sound and they're pretty decent for a, a very good price so thank you very much for watching and have a great day